Scientists diving in the Black Sea discovered 60 incredibly preserved ships dating back 2,500 years. A team of UK scientists were conducting a survey at the bottom of the Black Sea in 2015 to see if they could learn any lessons from the past concerning climate change. The researchers wanted to study evidence of how humans had coped with rising sea levels some 12,000 years ago. But instead, what they found in the seabed off Bulgaria astonished and amazed them. An eerily well-preserved treasure trove of sunken ships dating from more than a thousand years ago and up to the 19th century was laid out before them. Indeed, the vast collection of ghost ships gave up an intriguing insight into human maritime history and yielded some fantastically spooky imagery. The team from the University of Southampton's Black Sea Map Maritime Archaeological Project in England returned to explore the underwater area for the next two years. And the 2016 and 2017 investigative seasons saw more astonishing discoveries. The scientists were exploring the Bulgarian seabed using sophisticated sonar techniques, remotely operated vehicles, and dive missions. Environmental conditions in the Black Sea are extremely unusual. John Adams, Center for Maritime Archaeology Director at the University of Southampton, was the project's leader and he spoke to National Geographic magazine in 2016. He explained, when the last ice age ended about 12,000 years ago, the Black Sea was really the Black Lake. Apparently, as that geological era came to an end and temperatures rose, salt water began to flow through the Bosporus Strait into the Black Sea, which had previously been replenished by fresh water from rivers. This mixing of fresh and salt water created distinct layers in the Black Sea. Adams pointed out, the oxygen drops to zero below 150 meters, that's 492 feet, which is ideal for the preservation of organic materials. And this absence of oxygen has had a massive impact on the condition of shipwrecks in the region, as the Black Sea map scientists discovered. The lack of oxygen has meant that any vessels the Black Sea that came to grief and sank to the bottom have remained in the extraordinarily good shape of preservation. Even wooden vessels have remained shipshape, complete with ropes, rigging, and intricate carvings all in place. Remarkably, even after many hundreds of years, chisel gouges and planks of wood can be seen on the wrecks. You can get a good idea of just how well many ships have been preserved from the vessel pictured here. It's thought to date from between the 16th and 18th centuries, so it may have sunk almost 500 years ago. The ship plied its trade for the Ottoman Empire, based in what is now modern-day Turkey, which spanned North Africa, Central Europe, and the Middle East. The wreck was found at a depth of around 1,000 feet, where there's virtually no oxygen in the water. In 2016, during the second season of research at the Black Sea, the MAP team found no less than 41 shipwrecks. Nobody's seen anything quite like this before, Adams told National Geographic at the time. The scientist highlighted the fact that it would now be possible to verify documented details about historic shipbuilding. And as a result of the map work, researchers could compare written records with these incredibly well-preserved hulks. The 41 wrecks that the map party explored during the 2016 season included some of which were up to 800 years old. This is one of them being surveyed by a remotely operated vehicle. These ships were probably from the Byzantine period, the continuation of the Roman Empire in the East and the immediate precursor to the Ottoman era. As well as Byzantine and Ottoman examples, medieval Italian ships were well represented in the undersea boat graveyard. This particularly interesting wreck is probably Italian, dating from the 14th century. Adams commented on the marvel of it to National Geographic. He said, We know that the Italians were quite prominent in the Black Sea in medieval trade, but to see a vessel of that type that might have been recognized by Marco Polo is quite astonishing. Another fascinating find was the Ottoman era ship pictured here. The detail in this image of the vessel's stern is astonishing. The amazingly preserved and ornately decorated timber tiller, the loops of rope and the rudder are all clearly visible. In most waters, the wood and rope would have long since rotted, but the oxygen-free depths of the Black Sea have really worked their magic here. Most of the wrecks that the MAP team has discovered so far are actually those of merchant ships, interrupted in the act of transporting goods across the Black Sea. These would have been carrying various trade items across the great expanse of water, which is totally fringed by Bulgaria, Romania, the Ukraine, Russia, Georgia, and Turkey. Commercial cargoes would commonly have included such items as grain, timber, and wine. Such valuable cargoes would have doubtlessly attracted pirates 
but it's thought that the majority of the Black Sea finds would have been wrecked by bad weather rather than buccaneers. Nevertheless, Adams believes that some of the craft may be ore powered Cossack raiding vessels. Indeed, history does record that such pirates, based on the northern shores of the Black Sea, often attacked Ottoman merchant ships. During the 2016 season, the MAP team, which included an international array of scientists from Bulgaria, the US, and the UK, spent a month aboard the Strill Explorer. This multi purpose support vessel features cutting edge marine survey equipment. For this mission, the ship carried two remotely operated vehicles. These would allow the MAP scientists to thoroughly explore the 770 square mile area where the 41 shipwrecks have been found. To capture these stunning underwater images of the map finds, a complex technique called photogrammetry was used. This involves capturing thousands of images from a huge range of vantage points, using cameras mounted on remotely operated vehicles. These are then combined using specialist software to produce the final imagery. In a University of Southampton media release, John Adams paid tribute to these sophisticated techniques behind these amazing pictures. Using the latest 3D recording technique for underwater structures, we have been able to capture some astonishing images without disturbing the seabed," Adams explained. We are now among the very best exponents of this practice mythology, and certainly no one has achieved models of this completeness on shipwrecks at these depths. After the successes of the 2016 explorations, the MAP scientists returned for their final season in 2017. By now, it was one of the most extensive undersea archaeological surveys ever seen. And this third visit to the Black Sea brought the total number of vessels discovered on the seabed to 60. And these fresh discoveries extended the time period that the scientists were able to study. The new vessels uncovered meant that some 2,500 years of maritime history could be surveyed. Some of the ships discovered in 2017 were from as early as the 4th or 5th century BC. This showed that the Black Sea has been a thriving region of merchant marine trade since ancient times. One of the most stunning discoveries was a Roman vessel believed to be about 2,000 years old. Astonishingly, these ships' ropes, mast, and tillers were all preserved by the oxygen-free waters. Maritime archaeologist Krom Bacharov of the University of Connecticut was one of the specialists on the expedition. Subsequently, he told website IFL Science, This is history in the making, unfolding before us. We've never seen anything like this before. In 2017, some 30 miles offshore, the MAP team made use of an innovative new remotely operated vehicle, Survey Interceptor. This allowed them to continue their environmental work as well as the shipwreck exploration. Surveyor Interceptor can drill sediment cores up to 40 feet long and analysis of these excavations will help to reveal ancient environmental changes. So what started out as a project to investigate the history of climate change in and around the Black Sea actually became an extraordinary voyage of discovery into the region's maritime history. And the MAP team has uncovered some of the best preserved shipwrecks anywhere in the world. One of the team, Dr. Kalin Dimitrov from the Center of Underwater Archaeology, Bulgaria, was quoted in a Southampton University press release in September 2017. He said, the discovered shipwrecks will undoubtedly rewrite the history of ancient shipbuilding.